So when I first became an automotive journalist, there weren't many products that were there just for enthusiasts. We were always stuck with either the commuter segment bikes or the very top end of motorcycles. Well, here we are 2019 and the market has changed drastically. There are now almost 20 products between the 250cc and 400cc segment. That is absolutely amazing. In fact, when we rode the brand new Bajaj Dominar, we actually mentioned this earlier. And we're very excited to see the market progress and evolve, offering such amazing products to people who really can't afford big bikes. Well, Honda's back again with another product, and this is the CB300R. Now this bike is based on their Neil Sports Cafe concept that was launched in 2017 at ICMA. And this bike is a very nice looking Street Fighter motorcycle. They might say it's a cafe racer or a new age cafe racer, but quite honestly, it's a simple, basic Street Fighter naked motorcycle. And it looks very nice. It does have very small dimensions, but we're here, we've got the bike now, and we're gonna see just how good this bike is and if it can cut it out in the new 250 to 40cc segment, which is just blowing up. So let's get to it. So as I mentioned earlier, Honda has said that this is a Neo Sports Cafe bike. Now I don't quite get that at all because when you look at the general design of the bike, you cannot find any hints of a cafe racer on it. Well, it might have a narrow frame and small dimensions and it might be very light. But in all honesty, if we're talking about cafe racers, what we imagine are those old retro style bikes. If Honda claims this is a cafe racer, they might be in their own imagination somewhere because this is a street fighter motorcycle. It's a very small motorcycle and it definitely is gonna be used for urban areas. And you can see from the design, it is a good looking motorbike. It doesn't have any hints of a cafe racer on it for sure. Uh, the handlebar, for example, is wide and high. The fuel tank also is wider at the front and then narrows down towards the seat. And then the seat itself is, a, is like a, any other naked sports bike which you can find. And then of course you've got this a uh, really out of place massive exhaust on the bike. I don't think that exhaust looks good at all. It's too chunky, it's too beefy. It doesn't look good with the bike whatsoever. And I don't even want to get started on the Sari Guard. The Sari Guard is just a disaster. But uh, overall, the bike looks aggressive, it looks sharp. It is small, of course, but it's going to be great to ride in the city because of that. It also gets a very nice LED headlight, which is round. That could only be the only clue that this is a cafe racer because of the round headlight. And then you've got these nice upside down forks as well at the front. And uh, you've got a monoshock at the rear. Overall, the bike is nice and compact. The engine is placed nicely within the frame. It's got nice alloy wheels as well. Very sharp, aggressive instrument cluster and sharp uh, indicators but what really doesn't go well with the bike and again is the rear view mirrors there they look completely out of place with the design of the bike they're too squarish and they don't look very nice overall build quality of the bike obviously is very good this is a Honda after all so you can expect a premium quality and it definitely looks like that you can see the detailing uh, the fuel cap fluid for example the detail on the fuel tank and the other uh, components in the midsection very nicely built, very good quality components. So overall, the bike looks sharp, looks aggressive, looks nice, and it's a very good looking bike on the road, and it does have good on-road presence. So the highlight of the new CB300R is of course the engine. Now this is a 286cc liquid-cooled single cylinder engine. Now I know what you're thinking, it's a single cylinder. Well, so is the KTM Duke 390 and so is the BMW G3 Denar. So you can't really complain there when you look at this bike. So this engine produces about 30 brake horsepower and about 27 newton meters of torque. Now again, those figures aren't impressively powerful, but let's not forget that this bike weighs just 150 kilograms. Well, we're gonna get on the road now, we're gonna see just how well this engine translates into riding performance. So, the new Honda CB300R is a very interesting product. 
first of all, let's talk about the riding position. It's actually a very comfortable riding position. It's not aggressive as a cafe racer really is. It is definitely more of a street fighter riding position. You're sitting pretty upright, uh, your legs underneath your thighs, and it can be aggressive when you want it to be. You can lean down in nicely in the turns. So overall, it's very comfortable. Now, the seat is a little stiff though, but somehow it works very well. It doesn't matter if you're riding on the highway or in the city, it works perfectly fine. Ergonomically, also the bike is really nice, even though for its very small dimensions, it's very comfortable for someone like me. Uh, tall riders will not have a problem. The seat height is about 800 millimeters. So even short riders will have a very good time with this bike. It's very comfortable and you can use it almost anywhere. Where this bike really shines though, obviously is the engine. It's not very powerful, but because the bike only weighs about 145 kilograms, the acceleration is really, really quick. The throttle response is phenomenally instantaneous. Even though it's only got 30 brake horsepower, it's got 27 newton meters of torque and it really kicks in all the way from 2000 RPM all the way up. I mean, you have great mid-range as well. Because the bike's so light, the bike takes off. And in fact, the throttle is one of the most responsive I've seen in this segment. Really nice. It does put a smile on your face for sure. It's certainly not as quick as the Duke 390, of course, but it is very quick off the line. Another thing I want to mention is the handling of this bike is impeccable because it's so light. Uh, it's got upside down front forks, uh, Showa suspension that actually works really, really well. The steering is very direct and the wide handlebars really aid that steering capability of the bike. It is very light and the bike is super nimble when you're in traffic, even when you're on the twisty sections. The bike handles very, very well and because it's light, you can throw it from side to side without a problem. The only thing is though, for a person in my size, it is a little cramped when you're going on twisty sections. But other than that though, a beautifully handling machine. Um, the rear suspension is a monoshock and that's adjustable as well. Overall, the suspension is on the stiff side. So when you're on rough roads, bad roads, it's not the most comfortable, obviously. But nonetheless, the, the bike is really good. Uh, fantastic performance overall in terms of sportiness. The bike can also be a very nice laid back commuter when you want it to be. Overall, I have to say this bike is fantastic. The engine for a single cylinder is incredibly smooth. So overall, yeah, the refinement, the quality of the engine is superb. The handling is on point and the ergonomics are also pretty sound. So where does this bike fit in between the 200 and the 400cc segment? Again, this is a Neo Sports Cafe bike, whatever that means. I'm going to stick with calling this a naked street fighter. And for a 300cc bike, this is actually very impressive. This is priced at around rupees 2.4 lakh ex showroom Delhi. It's a little on the steep side, but again, you're getting top quality for this product. You've got shower suspension, you've got ABS that works very well, you've got nice alloy wheels, beautifully crafted engine. The bike is already available, so you can head down to any of your Honda two-wheeler dealerships and take it for a test ride, and then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs>